Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing five cleaning hacks with you guys. And today's video is a collaboration with Team Darley. I will have her video linked down below. She makes lots of videos similar to mine. I know that you guys are going to love her channel. She does cleaning videos, grocery hauls, a wide variety of videos. This is a clip from her video that she did sharing five cleaning hacks. And after you watch my video, if you wanna see five more cleaning hacks, then head over to her channel. I will have her channel, her video, and her Instagram link down in the description box. And so now let's get on to the cleaning hacks. So this first cleaning hack is one of my favorites. You're just going to take a microfiber cloth and attach it to the bottom of your broom using a rubber band. And now you can dust your baseboards easily. You can dust those high places in your house. And I just take some dusting spray and spray the bottom of the broom on that microfiber cloth. And then, yeah, it was super easy to dust my baseboards. It's better than crawling along on your hands and knees with a rag to dust the baseboards. And it also is easy to dust this trim along the ceiling as as well and also I wanted to say that if you're coming over from Amy's channel and you're new here I would love to have you subscribed you can head over to my main channel page to check out the rest of my videos and I'll also have some of them linked to this video as well for this next cleaning hack I'm going to show you how to clean your glass stove top using items that you already have on hand in your home so first I put some white vinegar into a spray bottle and I sprayed that all over the top of the stove and then I sprinkled baking soda all over the top of the stove and I sprinkled way too much baking soda on top of the stove don't sprinkle quite the much on there and then after that you're gonna fill up a container with really hot soapy water take a big rag get it all wet in that soapy water and then place it over the top of the stovetop my rag wasn't quite big enough to cover up the whole stovetop but it did cover up the area that was the most dirty so you're going to let that rag sit on the stovetop for a couple of minutes and then take it off and then take a sponge and scrub the whole top of the stove Then you can take either a damp cloth or some paper towels to get all of that excess baking soda off of the stove. Like I said, I put way too much on there. And then you're just going to take your glass cleaner, spray it all over the top, and then wipe that down with a dry paper towel. And then your stove is going to be nice and shiny and clean. For this next hack, I'm going to be cleaning the dishwasher. First, you want to measure out a half a cup of baking soda and sprinkle that into the bottom of the dishwasher. And then I measured out two cups of white vinegar and I put that in the top rack of the dishwasher. And then I ran the dishwasher on the jet clean and steam mode. If you don't have a cleaning mode on your dishwasher, then you can just run it on the hottest setting. This next hack is going to be an easy and quick way to clean your blender. After you make a smoothie or whatever, it can be hard to clean the blender down around those knives and everything. So the easiest and the quickest thing to do is to just fill your blender with warm water and dish soap, put the lid on it, and then just turn it on high for just a couple seconds, rinse it out, and it's gonna be nice and clean, and that was super easy and quick. For this last cleaning hack, I'm gonna show you how to get the grease buildup off of your kitchen cabinets. You're going to take two cups of hot water, mix that with two tablespoons of dish soap, make it nice and sudsy, and then take a rag and dip it in there and then squeeze about half of the water out of it and then clean the cabinet going with the grain of the wood. And then after that, you're gonna take a second dish cloth that you got wet and you wrung all of the water out of it and then you're gonna wipe down the cabinet to get all of the soap residue off and then just dry all that off with a dry cloth and I was surprised at how shiny and clean my cabinet looked afterwards. I guess I didn't realize just how greasy these cabinets get. They're right near the stove, so I'm sure that they get greasy pretty quick. If you enjoyed these five cleaning hacks, then be sure and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to go and check out Amy's video if you want to see five more cleaning hacks. I will have her video linked down in the description box. And this Saturday, I'm going to be uploading my living room tour. So if that's something that you want to see, be sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out and I will see you in this Saturday's video. Bye.